hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I am here on solo dolo for the season two in review of this Madden 19 49ers rebuild. So, all right, we uh, ended the season at 8-8, eight and eight. we barely missed the playoffs, and but I wanted to take you guys through the playoffs so you could see who actually won the Super Bowl. I do not know yet, so you'll find out with me. So it looks like Cleveland actually made the fucking playoffs and beat Denver in the playoffs in the, in the wild card round. Uh, the Eagles beat the Falcons. New England got shut out by Cincinnati. Cincinnati and Cleveland making the divisional round. And Detroit beating Dallas. So let's go into the divisional round. It looks like Jacksonville beat Cincinnati. The Rams beat the Lions. Ooh, the Chargers barely beat the Browns. And Philadelphia beat the Saints. Championship weekend. The Chargers beat the Jaguars and the Philadelphia Eagles beat the Rams. So who's it going to be, folks? The Chargers or the Eagles Super Bowl champions? Bam, the Eagles have won it again. So there you have it. So there is that. Uh, I want to go ahead and take you through where we were at as a team. Uh, so here's the stats from the season. For our team, Jimmy Garoppolo had a wonderful season, to be honest. 4,400 yards, 32 touchdowns, 17 interceptions, almost averaged 300 yards a game. So he is definitely progressing in the right way. Um, Jerk McKinnon, 1,300 yards. Look at that, man. 288 carries. He's averaging 4.8, averaged 13 touchdowns. He was on fire this year. So receiving, do we have a 1,000-yard receiver? We had two. Marquise Goodwin and Trent Taylor both pulled in over 1,000 yards. 14 touchdowns, 9 touchdowns. We had a lot of productive people on this team this season. Just fell a little bit short. So I don't feel so bad that when I played the week one game, I actually won. So that way it didn't inhibit us from being any better. Defensively, we got some tackles. Now it looks like, uh, God, 142 tackles. Look at that, dude. Let's see who had the most sacks on the team. Bam. Eric Armstead had 11 and a half and Buckner had 10. He had eight. So we had some, our line, look at the, this, is, this dude's a backup, Cassius March. He had five. Look at that. So interceptions. Come on, guys. Did we do something good? Fred Warner, middle, the two middle linebackers had the most interceptions. So that's quality for a team. And anybody have any major deflections? More middle linebackers. Holy jeez. All right. So how did our kicker do? 30 or 36, 80, 83%. Punting, 52 yards average. Holy shit. Any return touchdowns? Nope. Victor and Bull and uh, Trent didn't do it. Pettis didn't do it either. So, all right. So, there we were for our team stats. So, nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and look at yearly awards and see who. Jacoby Brissett for the goddamn Saints won MVP of the league. Wow. All right. All right. I guess that's that's what's going to happen. Who's coach of the year? Sean McVay for the Rams. All right. So let's see here. Offensive player of the year. Nobody from the 49ers is even on this list, which is sad. Defensive player of the year? Yeah, there we go. Ruben Foster, number two. So we had a guy who, who he's pretty damn good. Going to do that there. Uh, offensive rookie of the year. Anybody from me? Nope. Not in any way, shape, or form. Even in the lower, nope. Nobody is even on my radar. Defensive player of the year? Or rookie of the year? No. Nah. God, man. I need to step up my draft game, it looks like. So, best QB. All right, Garoppolo's on there, at least. Ranked seventh. He's going to get them interceptions lower. So, all right. Let's see here. Jerick McKinnon. He was uh, ranked in the best running back in the NFC. In the fourth. Wide receiver, any of my guys? Oh, look at this. Best Two of the three best wide receivers are my receivers. Look at that shit. They're not even that good. What are they, 85 and 82? So, looks like we have some positivity coming our way. Oh, God, no. Nobody here is good in, uh, yeah, no offensive line. Defensive line? Okay, look at those. Three guys, five, six, seven. Bow, bow, bow. Well, that's, that's not bad. So, they're creeping on a come up. Linebackers. 
Oh, come on, dude. That dude had like 150 tackles. All right. All right. I'll give it to you. Whatever. Nobody in our secondary got any, got any respect here. And our kicker, seventh. So there isn't really a lot of stuff that... Uh, that's great for the team here, but you know we're making we're making our way. I'm gonna go ahead and go and show you the standings from across. Actually, before I show you the standings, I'm gonna show you where the team has ended up before this off season. Some of these guys I'll end up getting rid of, but here's where we ended up as a team. So Garoppolo, he's ranked 85, and Bethard. Then we have uh, McKinnon and Brita. And Marshall, Marshall's going to, or Breida's going to be gone. I, he didn't want to sign, so, and as much as we're paying McKinnon, I'm going to keep him around for at least another year or so. Uh, that guy, uh, doing pretty good. I think he's going to be gone as well. He wants a lot of money, so he can eat it. All right, so here, got the Garkin. Like, I didn't even play the, the Garkin this year, because I, he was just eating up cap, and I didn't want him to, I mean, he's going to retire, I hope. Um, but Goodwin, 29, God, and Trent Taylor, so. <clears throat> George Kittle, he's creeping on a come up a little bit. Got my tackle. This dude is going to retire, or he's actually going to be gone. That guy drafted, so he's coming up. He's almost as good as he is, so it's not that big of a deal. I have another. There's some other rookie. I had quite a few rookies on the line this year, so I'm surprised we did nearly as good as we did. Um, we had, you know, a lot of rookie you know stuff there's another rookie craig wilhelm and right tackle we have uh this guy who's a second year so you know things are coming up on the line eric armstead i just re-signed him uh he's 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 good cassius marsh that's the guy he had some he had some sacks and he was the backup so right end i mean my end my, my line is looking pretty pretty solid um, I'm going to lose to Forrest Buckner, though. That's going to hurt. So I'm going to have to draft somebody because he, he didn't want to sign with me. Left outside linebacker leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, Foster, there's there's Philip DeMarco and Fred Warner. Fred Warner <clears throat> was beasting out. DeMarco, I don't know why he's lower or he's ranked better, but it looks like that we may roll with him. Will Anthony was a rookie. He's He's looking pretty good. Um, you know, we're making we're making strides. You know, Sherman, I, I put him down. I didn't even didn't even hang out with him, you know. So we got some players. We got some all right cornerbacks. Uh, you know, here comes the free safety. So he's pretty good. And then, you know, strong safety. We're pretty, pretty quality. People are getting up there in age, though. I'm not liking that too much. Um, and then let's see, where's our picks? So we pick 17, and we don't have any extra draft picks this year. I didn't trade away anything last year. So just one in every round, and then even next year, just one in every round. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm hoping to do some things in the off season here, make some, make some trades, things like that. So let me go ahead and go through the standings um, for the league. Uh, basically, the AFC North, the Browns won the division, and the Bengals, as we saw, they both made the playoffs. Uh, AFC South, the Jaguars were the only team. AFC East, the Patriots, 8-8. Eight and eight. They were able to make it in the AFC at 8-8, eight and eight, but they won their division. So 9-5 uh, and five, with two ties. God, how terrible is that? And uh, the Broncos, or NFC North, just the, just the Lions. Everybody's pretty mediocre here. All right, the Saints and the Falcons. Looking pretty good. NFC East, the Eagles and the Cowboys. Of course, I'm in the NFC where it's hard as hell to make the damn playoffs. So there we go. That That is what we were looking at for the league. And who was the worst team in the league this year? Wow. The Titans with only four wins. So <clears throat> that's really it for the season review, guys. Uh, stick around. We're going to have, I'm going to have to negotiate with these players here who are left, see if I'm going to keep anybody. And we're going to move into the offseason when we try to make some moves, sign some free agents, things like that. So, But that is all the time we have for the season two in review episode. Please make sure to like share, subscribe, leave me a comment what you think. This is something new we're doing for the channel. Let me know if there's another team you want me to see, you want to see me do. So, but we also have a podcast here at the Crazy Town. It is available on iTunes and SoundCloud. Links are in the description. But for now, for Jonas, I am out. <laughs>